You may have heard that China is considering banning the Pi Network. In this video, I'll explain why. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I'll be bringing you more updates on the Pi Network and another crypto market. Let's move on to our topic of discussion. As you are all aware, China has prohibited cryptocurrencies since 2013. The difficulty currently is that the PI network is also a cryptocurrency. But unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, the PI network has not yet been launched in that manner, yet many people in China are already utilizing the PI network. China has outlawed cryptocurrencies at least 18 times and counting. What do you think about China banning the PI network cryptocurrency, and what effects will it bring? Please share your thoughts in the comments section so that we can have a discussion about it. China has the largest Pi network pioneers in the world, with over 40 million people mining the PI network in China. This effort began in 2005 with the introduction of QQ currency, one of the first cryptocurrencies. It was initially intended to be used by China's largest internet and tech companies in their games and online services, but soon after users started buying and selling the coins independently, the Chinese government became concerned because it saw these coins as a threat to their strictly regulated financial system. China was one of the first countries where people used Bitcoin, and China BTC was founded in 2011. Despite these early successes, China soon started to change its mind as the government grew more concerned in 2013 when the Chinese government started to crack down on the use of Bitcoin for the first time, as the Chinese government believed that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were posing a threat to national security. People seem to enjoy the anonymity that comes with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and China's affordable electricity made mining economically viable, so full-scale mining operations started sprouting up all over the place. Keep in mind that the situation is further complicated by the fact that it is 2018 and that China for the first time outlawed mining in 2019 as a result of its recognition of Bitcoin mining as a source of pollution. This gets us to March 2020 when the government launched a full-scale campaign to suppress cryptocurrency. China was behind the historic crypto slaughter that brought down the whole crypto market. But they weren't done yet. Because China was trying to ban cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin was able to reach its current record high of $69,000, despite the regulatory blow from China. It's important to note that China's attitude towards cryptocurrencies has evolved and is not a monolithic entity, for instance. The government has taken steps to restrict crypto, but there are also many people and businesses within China that continue to use digital currencies, so they lean on us for more information. This time, they implemented a blanket ban on all mining and transactions. Some of China's biggest regulators, including their central bank, came together to fully snuff out illegal crypto activities. There is a running joke that China has banned cryptocurrencies 18 times, accounting for 21 of the global Bitcoin hash rate. Please share your predictions with me in the comments section below. Do you anticipate that the Pi Network will also suffer? Other than that, China and Hong Kong caused panic, confusion, and skepticism in the Bitcoin business. China's response was to build its own cryptocurrency for a number of reasons, which this video will also cover. Is China's crypto ban actually motivated by something? Will China's new cryptocurrency be able to compete with the U.S. dollar? What does China's most recent prohibition of blockchain technology portend for the country's future? according to a report from the Law Library of Congress's Worldwide Legal Research Directorate. A total of 50 other countries have outlawed cryptocurrencies, and nine of them have an outright prohibition that makes using, buying, selling, or possessing cryptocurrencies illegal for citizens of those countries. Banks are not allowed to execute transactions with cryptocurrencies, including NFT in the remaining 42, where there is an implicit ban that prevents financial institutions. Egypt, Iraq, Morocco, Nepal, El Tunisia, and Qatar. The People's Bank of China prohibited Chinese financial institutions from handling Bitcoin transactions and referred to cryptocurrencies as a kind of money with no real value. In 2021, the Chinese Central Bank outlawed all cryptocurrency transactions due to concerns about gambling fraud and money laundering. 
This appeared to be the last straw as the action precipitated a precipitous collapse in the markets as some investors hurried to sell their holdings and the price of the stock rose. Despite this, the government's skepticism of cryptocurrencies hasn't changed. You may get an idea of how significant China is in the world of cryptocurrencies compared to the U.S. by comparing the crypto industries in the two countries. In the same month, the U.S. mined 16% of all cryptocurrencies, while China mined 47%. China accounted for 47% of all cryptocurrency mining activity. China's central bank said that concerns about gaming fraud and money laundering were to blame for its crackdown on cryptocurrency, but there is another reason that is obvious. China is presently going through an energy crisis. China has the world's most energy-intensive economy, which has contributed to the worst electricity crisis it has seen in 10 years. The price of coal used to generate electricity is not regulated by the central government, whereas the price of electricity is paid to generators. As a result, the price of coal fluctuates much more than the price of electricity because it is not regulated by the government, but rather is determined by the market. China is still heavily dependent on coal, which generates 70% of the country's electricity. I'll end here for now. Please let us know in the video's comment section whether you believe that China will also outlaw the Pi Network, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, and see you in the next one for additional information on the Pi Network.